Okay, so now we've opened the guard, but just because the guard's open doesn't mean that you're past the guard. I, I think that passing the guard is one of the hardest things to do in all of jiu-jitsu, gi or no gi, especially against a skilled opponent. When you look at a, a mat full of people training, at least half the people, probably three quarters of the people, are busy engaged in trying to pass someone's guard. And so, uh, can you talk a little bit about no gi guard passing versus gi guard passing, what the differences are? and things that you'd like to keep in mind when you open the guard, but now you're trying to pass the guard. Right, so either way, whether I'm training in gi or no gi, I'm always thinking again, that matted rule, keep the legs open if you can. Even half guard, you know, whatever you can get. Don't give it back to your partner. The second thing is with no gi, it is a little bit more dynamic. But again, being dynamic doesn't necessarily mean that I want to sacrifice handles or grips. I don't have a gi to hold on to. I can't grab your lapel, I can't grab your sleeve, I can't grab your pants. What I can grab is I can grab for the underhook, I can grab your head, I can grab your arm, I can post on your elbow, push the knee through. These are all things that you wanna keep in mind as you're moving through the guard. As I said, you wanna still stay tight and you wanna still stay technical. But we wanna be dynamic, we wanna be moving around. Use that slippery feeling, use that athleticism to your advantage. And that's also what can also benefit your gi game. When you're training in the gi, you tend to move more slowly through things. You can pull at things, you can drag yourself through positions. No gi can't really do that. A lot of it's going to be finagling your way through it, but again, being really elegant and smooth about it. Mm -hmm. And I, I can't stress that enough, that we're always going to be paying attention to how we're moving with our partner's body, not just diving through it or running around it. Another thing that I like to consider too, when you crack open your partner's guard, if you can't go through it, you might go under it or around it, right? And we'll cover that in some of the techniques in this part of the DVD. We're gonna talk about different ways that you can pass your partner's guard if your first plan of attack doesn't work. It doesn't necessarily pay off to just continue to drive through the same way. Especially With, if the guy's bigger. Especially if the guy's bigger and also that tension as it starts to build up. You don't know where that's going to go. And with Nogi, because things can be more explosive, your other partner from underneath you could get into a really good sweeping position if you just keep trying to be stubborn about certain things. So I like to mix up a little bit of, a, of my passes and maybe I'll attempt one, switch into another, feed off the partner that your uh, energy that your partner is giving you. The other thing to consider, Stefan, is depending on where you're training at or what you're doing, you may notice that stylistically, people will tend to do the same things in a certain school or an environment. So if you know, for example, everybody's gonna be passing in one direction, or they're gonna be defending to one side, be dynamic, do something different, do it to the opposite side. See if you can sort of test and figure out which way your partners are moving and trick them a little, you know? And that, that always pays off because a lot of times we're not used to doing everything uh, to the right side the same way that we're able to, to do it to our left side So that's something else you can play around with as well to make your successful make your passing a little bit more successful So that's using if everyone's going left you might want to try going right if everyone kneels to pass the guard You might want to pass the guard standing exactly. and, vice versa. and a lot of people have commented on that when they've come to New York And I've seen people training at Marcella's Academy They'll say wow like everybody's passing is so good here And a lot of that has to do with the fact that people are standing up in the guard all the time so you get people that are traveling and visiting, they go, wow, you know, at my school, we don't really stand up to pass and it's really difficult to defend that. Like, I don't really know what to do. So you can throw your partner for a loop by just doing something a little bit differently. You know, if everybody's on the ground, you stand up. If everybody's standing up, you stay on the ground. Just mix it up and don't be afraid because that's also what's gonna help you grow and feel more confident with your own style. All the different things that you're learning from your different instructors and your training partners, you can really start to own that as you begin to test yourself in different ways.